like guard skills to help you put on a show. Now, here is Young. And when he's at the line. Now, here's Heald. Passes it to Toppin. Clock at six. Pass to Halliburton. And there's the drive over Young. Halliburton, that's good. Whenever that mid-range jump shot is available, Halliburton is going to take advantage of it. He's a really good passer, but also an opportunistic scorer. Now here's Murray. First shot, first pass. He's out of the blocks fast. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Here's Halliburton. Back to Toppin. The pass to Halliburton. Over Young. And it's Halliburton missing. They play the clock right, then go two for one. Just got to time it up right. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Here's Johnson. The Pacers pull it in. Good offense squaring up against better D there. You got to appreciate that stop. Halliburton against Young. And Halliburton slams it in. First up, quickness that time from Halliburton. Got the defender on his heels. Here's Young. And the layup's good off the glass. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Halliburton outside over Young. And he got that one up and... And so here is Indiana, trailing by two. Here is something great from Pacers history. They were a dynasty at one point, and you remember it well. Yeah, you're talking about the ABA days, but it's true. The, the Pacers were a dominant team before the merger. They won three titles in four seasons just before joining the league. We got T.J. McConnell. Neesmith is out there with Benedict Matherin. Then it's Walker, and it's Nemhard in at the two-guard spot. So that's the group out there for Indiana. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Thanks, Kevin. The Pacers are a team on the rise, and Tyrese Halliburton says one of the favorite parts about the way we're building the culture here is it's not just showing up for a game, and that's it. We watch games, text about games, talk about games when we get to the arena. I just want to be around guys from Atlanta. A nice shot by Bogdanovich. A dead-eye shooter. Bogdan working off the pass there. McConnell kicks to Walker. Outside, Matherin. Pass to Nemar. Can't hit that one. Ready by Bogdanovich. Atlanta leading by six. 13 feet away. And Griffin with the score. The assist from Bogdanovich. Griffin's got his first two points. McConnell passes to Walker. Now, here's McConnell. Shot from 12. A putback. Walker on the follow. Walker. Smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? Yes, they can. They can't allow him to beat them to too many more of those. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so the game has seen a little bit of a shift in recent years. You cover it. What do you think? Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, the game, much like the pro game, has become a little more perimeter-centric. The three-point shot has been a huge part of the game's evolution. And so you see more teams playing to space the floor and take advantage of the three-point shot. Not nearly as much back to the basket post-play. So I do think the game has changed. And not necessarily good or bad. I think it's just different. On the court right now for the Hawks. In the backcourt, it's the Stars, Young and Murray. DeAndre Hunter out there with Johnson. And it's Capella in at the five, roaming the paint. 
Now here's Heald. Still yet to score. Indiana needs to get a shot off. And Turner throws it down. And Heald's playmaking continues to improve. Solid pass right there to the open teammate. Halliburton against Young. Lined up there for Johnson. Toppin with the steal. At the top of the key, Heald shoots the three. Sinks the three-pointer. Heald's got his first three points of the game. Heald came into the league now with a very solid three-point shot. And he's only gotten better. Here's Young. Rejected by Halliburton. And they get it back. And Murray. Here we go. Clock at four. And the officials calling for a... And so it's Murray who brings the ball up for the Atlanta Hawks. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. The backcourt pair for them, Halliburton and Brown. The forwards, Matherin and Jackson. And it's Smith in at the center position. That's the Pacers' five. Now, here's Bogdanovich. The shot comes out. Smith with the defensive effort. Indiana trailing here. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Brown, good. And Matherin proving he can be unselfish, wanting to find his teammate. Bogdanovich looking around. Rebounded by Jackson. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. Halliburton against Murray. Offensive rebound. And it's Halliburton missing. And the activity he shows around the rim it is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. Well, that was one, two. He wanted the ball. 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Young. Here's Hunter. It's in! Well, we saw this from Hunter in the tournament. When Virginia won the championship, he was a clutch performer. Halliburton kicks to heel. Bullseye! We've got 22 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's Young on the wing. He's covered by Halliburton. And that's out of bounds. It was last touched by Halliburton. Young looking it over. Down to five on the shot clock. Launches a three. Can't get the three to fall. So a close game sees Indiana take this one. What a 